I'm interested to know what Nike is paying Colin Kaepernick and what this deal entails, whether it's just this one campaign for Just Do It. And uh, the best guy to ask is our business insider. He knows all of this stuff, Darren Ravel. Joins us now on the show. Darren, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? Hey, guys. How are you? Yo, yo. Doing great. Do we know how much Nike's paying uh, Colin Kaepernick? I do not know. I know that they've been uh, paying him since at least 2011. Um, I know there's been a report that he he's now going to have a signature shoe and there's going to be a whole merchandise line. That's not from my reporting. I, I, I do not I do not believe he will have a signature shoe. I don't think they're going to make an overt business out of this. Not to say that this is not a business move and it's just a social move, but it is a business move, but I don't think it's going to be as overt as them, you know, coming out with the, the, the Kaepernick shoe, you know, that's ideal for kneeling or whatever. It's not going to happen. Now, was it just around the 30th anniversary of Just Do It, or did something happen over the last few months to make them believe that this would actually be financially oh, uh, beneficial well, to well, them? Don, Don, I, 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 I think over the last six months, if you just look at what's happened, even in the last year, oh, no. that a athletes that they, uh, that, that they support, including, uh, most importantly, LeBron James, who they have a lifetime deal with, um, you know, obviously he's not afraid to speak out on social issues, on issues that he thinks he can affect change on. And I think that's kind of pushed Nike in a direction. That combined with the fact that I think the biggest risk for Nike right now is to not take risks. You know, they've had Under Armour come into their space and get as big as a $5 billion brand. And Adidas has gone back to retro. And I think Nike's been in a safe place. And I actually don't think safe is comfortable anymore. Um, and I think they've been pushed by athletes who, you know, we go from the, the bland Michael Jordan days and stay out of it if you want to be effective to the times that we live in today where Durant and, and LeBron and their biggest guys are pushing it. You know, it's interesting because you mentioned Under Armour and they kind of took a hit, Darren, from Stephen Curry because Curry didn't like the fact that I believe the owner of Under Armour said that the election of, of Donald Trump was good for good for the company, right? Yes, yes. CEO Kevin Blank said that. He was originally on that that uh, that board, that panel that, that Trump uh, arranged that uh, got disbanded because, uh, you know, so many people within the companies that had enlisted in that had, had, had taken such a hit that they basically just disbanded. It, and Under Armour has their own, their own problems. But yeah, listen, there is, there, they, they had certainly extensive conversations about how this would affect them. Um, and I think at the end of the day, they had to take a guess that this was going to be a a net positive. Um, certainly, I, I know that they did not think that they would win over the day or have as much relevance as they did yesterday i mean labor day is a weird day to drop that um but but man did they own the discourse yesterday it was uh, they were you know one three four five on on twitter and everyone was talking about it do do you believe darren that they consulted with the nfl before this because they're in a big time big money partnership with the nfl <sighs> I am not led to believe that that they did. I know that uh, our Dan Graziano is reporting through his sources that they did not, that the NFL learned that, about it on Monday uh, when it came out. Um, now, technically, he's not an NFL player, of course, but yes, I mean, you know, they, they have this deal that they just re-upped for another 10 years um, in March. So uh, it would seem that if you are uh, putting a person on a pedestal who is uh, being sued uh, or is suing for collusion, um, who is an adversary of all those, you would think that there would be a heads up. But at least what, what, what Dan's reporting is there was not. Um, so it's kind of kind of shocking. I mean, it's, an, it's another story with the NFL and the unraveling of the NFL and their relationships with their players and their sponsors. It's like, when does this end? They have to know that the president's going to come after them pretty hard, probably demand a boycott of all of their products. 
I'm sure they're prepared yeah, for that. And, done. I think people are surprised it hasn't happened right. yet. Right, but now, <laughs> they, they know that's going to come. What kind of effect do you think that can have, if any, on them? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like they certainly played that through in, in their mind. And I feel like people, may, maybe they, they say that those that are supporting Trump and who do think that Colin Kaepernick's protest is a protest of the national anthem itself, have already gone down that road and are already the shoe burners and are the people that are that, that are going the other way here. And so, you know, the fact that, that, that Trump goes all in, you know, I guess they could say, well, it doesn't really matter because the people who, who he, uh, you know, kind of moves, has, uh, they're already gone that way. They've already gone that way. Those are the, those are the videos you see on the Internet that people go and not say they won't buy another Nike shoe. Uh, but Nike really Revel focused on the youth, and they don't—they don't think the—they don't think the youth, the 15 to 17 year olds that they're targeting, they—they—they they, they don't think that that Trump, you know, uh, resonates with them. Darren Ravel, our business insider here on the Michael K Show. It's—it's it's been reported widely that you know Nike uh, stock is down like 2.3 percent, but that's a little bit unfair because a lot of. Uh, the athletic footwear uh, stocks are down because of the, the NAFTA situation, which is kind of up in the air. So I don't, yeah, would, I, would you agree that the 2.3 is not a big deal? No, yes, it would have had to be. And, and that's really the indicator that I was looking for today. Um, to, to, because you'll, you'll never find out whether this had a, a major impact. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Nike does more than $30 billion in annual business. Uh, they, they, were, they wouldn't be like next quarter they would report that Colin Kaepernick had a good or bad impact on the business. But what you would have seen, I mean, the stock price is, is, is the key indicator of uh, sentiment, of financial sentiment. And, uh, you know, what, what it's done down today is, is not significant. Now, if it was 5 to 8 percent, and Under Armour this year has gone down at least 5 percent, you know, four or five times, um, you know, then I would say it's significant. And this is clearly, since there's no other news, an indicator that uh, people who own the stock are not happy with, with the Colin situation. But that's not the case. No way. All right, Darren, we thank you for your time. Thank you so you much. Thank you.